Okay, look at Jurgen. He's just like, he's so tall. That's number one. But also, Mario Bielsa from Leeds and Liverpool's Jurgen Klopp. Both very successful. Today, I'm looking at how football managers use their passions effectively. You too can use it as well, very effectively. First, let's look at Mario Bielsa. He's an Argentine. He's very passionate. He's almost animated. You can see him right here in the training ground as he tries to get his points across. Watch Bielsa on the training ground. He's just crazy. Like he bends over. He's he's and he's moving very fast on his feet. You know, and he's saying expletives. He's like crazy words. He wants more, but there's encouragement there with the claps too. He's just he's like. Uh, but again, there's clapping like an encouragement. But look at the players; like, they're just they're on their feet. They really, really put it out there. So, so that's Mario Biel. So that's the extent of how electric he can be and how he can motivate his players and how he actually really wants the game, obviously being played at a high tempo. Jurgen Klopp is another who wants this rock and roll football, this high tempo, and often seen as being very animated but watch here how he can be extremely the opposite and use his passion in a very methodical way on sideline such a contrast to see club even contrast for bielsa and club from the last clip but also to see him calm club himself calm on the training ground what we often see with club is that he's really intense as you can see here how he's just almost methodical and even taking a back seat watching the players from afar there's something going on in his mind. We're not privy to it, but the players seem very relaxed, as do the kind of coaches, the other adults around. So that's Klopp, and that's how he can be very calm in his own manner. But Bielsa too can use the passion in a different way. He can actually internalize it so much when he's watching 90 minutes or so of football. Watch here as he had his team playing against Huddersfield in the West Midlands derby and surely there was passion on display but he kept calm and silent. So we've seen Bielsa in training how he's really intense but you pick him out here in the grey tracksuit he's quite calm he's on his hunkers first off watching the action very concentrated though as he's calm he's really concentrated really into the game and you can see even reactions from the dugout, from the bench, from others. But Bielsa is more stationary. He's actually lost in the crowd. But as the game wears on, so to do his emotions. Eagerness up, because you can see it there in his reaction where he just, he's explosive. He has to get the arms up in the air. So Bielsa can actually use his passion in a very good way for his team and just observe them. Klopp, on the other hand, can lose this passion and he has done it in the past. He's actually been fined in the English game not long after coming, even though people loved him, thought he was such a great character and was welcome to the game and was having success with Liverpool. He was actually going overboard. Watch here as he goes into the playing pitch and summons his players towards him to celebrate a goal scored. Now we saw in Iran, Bielsa's craziness, watch this natural reaction from Klopp. He just cannot hold his elation in after seeing a goal scored. Now in fairness, there's others on the sideline, but he's actually encouraging the players to come close to him. And even, you know, other experienced players, and they just, you know, go around him. Firmino, who's Lucas, both Brazilian internationals, and... You know, he's on the field when this happens. <laughs> His glasses fall over, which is incredible. He's a very entertaining character, for sure. But this passion can be wayward in many people's lives. So you need to be able to center it. You need to be able to use intelligence with that. And obviously a very intelligent manager and a peer of both Bielsa and Club is Pep Guardiola. He has won lots in different countries, in Spain, in Germany, and of course in England. And he has analyzed both managers. And starting here with Bielsa, he actually has a huge respect. Listen and watch how he talks about Bielsa here. Oh, 
what is it then between Klopp and Manchester City? And of course, the competition is fierce, but the opinion of respect is there from Pep right here. I think about Pep here. I mean, because obviously both coaches play at high intensity. He really doesn't like to be compared to Klopp. Do you feel the stars are very similar? But of course, he's magnanimous and he kind of says, yeah. I like a lot the way you play. But uh, I like a lot because for the spectators, for the, because the three, four seconds they are attacking, maybe the, the best, the best manager in the world, the best manager who create the teams attacking the back four with this amount of players, with this high uh, intensity, with the ball, without the ball. So it's not easy to do that. And they attack there, White sometimes with the client within, but especially they attack inside, inside, and they, they do. Especially really well. I think they are not an team in the world attacking so many players. Jurgen Klopp, of course, though, played professional football. He played it to not so high level in Germany, a couple of divisions below the top. But he really had that passion. And passion is a thing that comes and can be used, not just in your professional way, but also in your love life. And it was in 2005 that Klopp eventually married his wife and love, Ulla. Smiles all around there. But Bielsa too is a very passionate guy and uses it and has it in his own love life. He married well before club, 15 years in fact in 1990 and is a happy married guy. But he's also from a very intelligent family and the family are architects and also lawyers in general and even politicians. His sister Eugenia is a well respected politician and this is the passion that flows through them and the intelligence that is there so you have to really respect Bielsa and how he uses what he knows but the great thing about passion in anything is to be able to connect with people and as a manager you are actually over people that are responsible for running your plan on the playing pitch it's the same way in work in employment where you can actually tell people what to do show them what to do but at the end of the day they have to go out there and just do it so there's pressure on people and they need to do it but you need to connect with them and show empathy watch here as Jurgen Klopp shows ultimate empathy with a man of 104 years of age Thank you. Yeah. All, all the happiness you give me in the last couple of days has been marvellous. It's a pleasure. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. Give him a little bit of Yeah. And the best of luck here. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Thank you. That's incredible stuff. But Bielsa is not to be outdone. Watch here as he too opens his arms to a young girl in a wheelchair. I mean, we're getting all lovey-dovey here, but it's really important to use your passion to connect to people, even though you have that authority as a manager. There's no point being passionate, showing anger, and even you know, just leading people a certain way if you can't connect with people on the ground. And right here, you can see how Bielsa is extra excellent at this. So he has huge ability, Bielsa. He has also huge passion. But watch as Klopp here gets a little bit uh, frisky, shall we say, but a little bit funny and uses his humour to bring in the crowd of reporters who laugh with him. How does it feel now? Uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm saying it, so I want to know. So it's a very important game tomorrow. How are you going to play against Paris tomorrow? It's a very erotic voice, by the way. That's right there. Congratulations. Wow. Again, please. <laughs> well, you can see how Klopp has a huge sense of humor. We know that. But also, Bielsa can get frustrated. He didn't have the language when he first came to England. And so prior to that even, when he was speaking in his native language, he had difficulty 
controlling his passion. It's passion that can throw people off and anger reporters. Now, Klopp has done it in a very good way right there, but Bielsa does it differently right here. Game in English football. I am very excited and I'm happy to be here. I am very happy uh, that this beginning. You'll have learned a lot about your squad over pre-season, but will you really find out about them today in a game against the title favourites? Yes. Well, that is tough for sure. So you can imagine how he felt, but how did his players feel too if he couldn't translate exactly the feelings of what he wanted to communicate to them? Now, Klopp himself can lose it. He has been known to be a little bit angry during interviews. Do you think we didn't take enough risks today? Is that, is that what you want to ask? I'm really dis that's a really disappointing question, I have to say, because that means like it's so easy. I tell them, boys, we take more risks. Come on, boys, we go for it. Is, can you imagine, is there any draw and we didn't try to win? So Klopp himself can really go to town, but he can use the words and explain exactly, minutely, to a point what he means to defend himself and he does it just withholding that energy of anger. Bielsa though can really be a Rottweiler if he wants to in his native language and he can leave the translator for a day. So he is passionate for sure, he knows exactly, as does Klopp, how to use that passion in a good way through holding that anger but just going to a point of inspiration. You too can do it for sure. So hope you like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please do. Until next time though, have a wonderful day.